I was in my office, and my wife and I worked here at 11.30 last night. Well, now, the White House operator, you just call her when you hang up here and give her hell. She said she called your house, she called your Maryland, she called your office. We were there, we worked until 11.30 on a... On a I'm working on this 14B report. Well, the first thing I wanted to do was tell you, and then I told Arthur Goldberg and uh, Leroy Collins, and uh, I've had in a call for you since uh, about uh, 5 o'clock yesterday, and I just... The greatest job, I mean this, you did the greatest job that's ever been done in a tough labor case, in my knowledge. Well, I did. You were wonderful, Mr. President. I, I, I told McPherson this morning, I said sometime... When you can get his, his ear for 30 seconds. I, Mansfield made a great speech night before last, and I backed him up on the floor of the Senate. And I got several calls from people that were involved in this thing that thought maybe we might have been a little helpful. We hope so. Well, I, but, but you and Connor and Ward did this job. It was wonderful. You, you're not only helpful, you started it. You brought them down. We carried out your recommendation, did just what you said. We've done it, and I said so to all of them last night, both of them, when they were committed. I said it over television, uh, and I said it to everybody this morning. I called George Meany, and I called Roger Blau. Oh, you're welcome. I thank both of them. The finest thing about it was the attitude they had about their country when they left. They were not hating, and they were not better and mean with each other. Uh, and that's they because were, of you. That's because of you, I tell you. No, no I it's because I sent the right man up there to start it, and we brought him down there and just didn't let the, the lobbyists, uh, for either side, run things up there in Pittsburgh. Now, please get some relaxation this weekend. I'm I want going. you. I want you to let down. I'm going to. I'm here at the ranch. I haven't even gotten up. Got on my robe, and uh, I just want to tell you how much I appreciate what uh, you've done. I'm, you're wonderful. I talked to McPherson this morning, and I told him to just tell you to give me the instructions on the home rule thing, and I'll carry them out to the letter. Whatever it is you want done. Wasn't that a wonderful victory? Terrific. <laughs> Just terrific. I'll tell you what I think that you have to do, though. Somebody has to do these mean things like you did in bringing them to Washington the other day. And uh, old Leroy Collins told me this morning and said, I won't tell you now. He said, this man, uh, I got a different impression what some of these things I've read. But watching him, said, he's, his country means everything. Uh, and wait, wait, he's bragging on you. But you're going to have to say, some of them are going to have to, that uh, the, the days come, we live in the 20th century, right. that the people who've got independence in the world and they've got dignity, and the three Johns just can't carry the 18th century into the 20th, and John Bell Williams and John Macmillan and uh, John somebody else, there's three of them over there, John Dowdy of Texas, yeah. he's, a, he's a snuff dipper yeah. uh, from deep east Texas, and those three Johns have been trying to direct uh, the destinies of a million people in the greatest capital in the world, and the time's come when you just ought to have to go to Athens, Texas, or down to this little town in South Carolina, uh, or to John Bell Williams in Mississippi, to find out what you can do in the capital of the greatest nation in the world. And you're not personally against them, but that they can't do it. And that'll run Jerry Ford and these Republicans uh, right into camp. Now, they got a deal. Howard Smith made a deal with Jerry Ford on voters' rights, and I had to beat him on that. Now, they got the same deal there, the same kind they had when I used to come to the Senate when Taft and Russell ran the whole Senate. We're going and to work on it. we got to smoke them out, and just the three J's, the three Johns are just the... We're sorry, we, they're all right personally, but we just can't have the uh, affairs of a million people uh, in the capital of the world. Uh, we can't have that kind of image where South Carolina and deep east Texas and Mississippi run it. Well, you, you send up the instructions. Nobody will know where they come right. from, and I'll do anything I can. And I very quickly say to you, I had a, I've had a couple of wonderful talks with Goldberg, and I'm at his service, too, and he knows it. Well. Anything I can do... We're going to do this together, and, well, and uh, I'm at his service. He's, he, he knows it, and we, we're going we're gonna to get the job done on the world picture just like I we have so. here. I absolutely think so. And I'm watching that uh, higher education. I'm awful proud about uh, that. It was wonderful, wasn't it? Uh, I, unbelievable. I, if anybody told me you got it through with that vote, I'd have laughed at him. You know, I, I told him I introduced the bill when I came to the Senate many years ago where we had a loan fund for students, kind of an FHA, and nobody paid attention to it. And I said, now, when you think about this man reporting unanimously in 79 to 3, and that's Stennis, and that's Eastland, and I've forgotten who the third one was, but there were three, only three senators against that whole damn bill. Thurman. 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 And just think about it. And, and I couldn't even get trail. And I couldn't get a hearing on my little old bill 10 years ago. Oh, you know, I made a speech about that after we passed it. Somebody ought to tell you about it. I talked about what you did for that bill, and I said it was your bill you were responsible for. You ought to get that speech and just 
for relaxation reasons. You know what we're going to do, don't you? I'm going to give a dinner. All right? I'm going to give a dinner, and we're going to have a dinner, either a lunch or a dinner, in the White House dining room, and we're going to get the leaders from all over America in this oh, field. Right. And then we're going from the dinner. Uh, we'll, we'll take you and the house boys, then, and the, all these uh, higher education people, the great ones in the nation. Then we're going into the East Room for an evening ceremony signing it. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> all right, well, I'm at your service. Now, please get some relaxation. Will you? Go on out and take a look at that good bird. I'm right. going out and see him right now. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm showing mine up at the, at the State Fair right now. Well, that's wonderful. Thank I'll you. See you. Bye. Good luck.